Welcome to Center of Maths, Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. For this week's problem, we're going to prove the dominated convergence theorem using Fatou's lemma. So there is a neat uh, compact proof of the dominated convergence theorem using Fatou's lemma. So first, let's set up the conditions for the dominated convergence theorem. Let's uh, state the theorem. So first, uh, the two main conditions for the dominant convergence theorem. We have a thing as fn that's converging pointwise to some function f. And this function is bounded above by some L1 function, some positive L1 function. And uh, given these two con conditions, we can show we can interchange, interchange uh, a limit in an integral sign. So to do this, we're going to use Fatou's lemma. So we're going to consider fn plus or minus this g function, or g plus or minus fn. And this is going to give us something positive that we can apply for toes lemma to. So. So from the absolute value of f of n being less than or equal to g, we have g plus or minus f of n is going to be less than or equal to 2g, which is in L1. So. Which is, yeah, an integral function, integral function. So now uh, applying for toes lemma to g plus f of n and g minus f of n, uh, which we can do since these are both be uh, positive functions. Sorry, the previous is true, but really we want to show these are positive functions. So g plus f of n is greater than or equal to zero, and g minus f of n is also greater than or equal to zero. And this just falls from the absolute value being less than or equal to g. So now to these two things, we will apply for total sum. So So first, applying for toes to g plus f of n, uh, we have the limb inf is less than or equal to the limb inf of the integral. And so when limb inf 
is inside, we can use that f of n converges pointwise to replace f of n with f, and g just stays as is. And then the lim inf of the integral, we can kind of break up the lim inf since g is just stays as is. And then we'll be left with lim inf of f of n on the right side. So this gives us some connection between the integral of f and the infinitum, uh, the limit infinitum of the integral of f of n. And so this gives us one inequality. And so we're going to do the same thing with this g minus f of n, and we're going to know if we get another inequality, that'll kind of, uh, by the squeeze theorem, I'll make it so uh, the limit f of n has to approach f. And then we'll be done. So bring this in the corner. So now using our other function, which is g minus f of n and applying Foucault's lemma. Uh, so again, on the left side, we can just take limits because g is constant, f of n approaches f pointwise. On the right side, again, we can pull things apart and we'll be left with a term we're interested in, which is lim sup of integral of f of n. We can cancel the integrals of g's on both sides. And what we're left with is the integral of f is greater than or equal to the lim sup of f of n. Now, putting these two inequalities together, we get So putting these inequalities together, we get the lim inf is greater than or equal to the integral, the integral of f, which is greater than or equal to the lim sup of the integral of f of n. And lim supes are greater than or equal to the lim inf. So all these, in fact, are equalities. And we have the dominated convergence theorem, which says the limit of the integral of f of n is just the integral of f. And so we're done. Thanks for watching. Please check out our Facebook and Twitter, and please check out our blog on centerofmath.org. Thank you.